everybody, welcome to my channel, Singing with Lauren. My name's Lauren, I'm a singer and a voice teacher, and today I'm gonna to be reacting to Hua Chen Yu singing The Jackdaw Boy, or just Jackdaw Boy, from The Singer 2020 episode one. So it's been a while since he's been on my channel and you guys have been asking me, where is Hua? And here he is. So I'm excited to hear him sing in this competition and I've always really liked him and and his performance I love his original songs as well. So without further ado, if you guys are a singer, I'd love for you to join my group, The Singing Tribe. It's a totally free Facebook group where we talk about singing, tips, tricks. I go live each week on Monday to share a new voice lesson with you guys. And we have some really great discussions in there as well. So our group is very quickly growing and I hope to see you inside. So you can find that link in the description below. And I'd love it if you'd give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe. It's the best way to support my channel and I really appreciate it. And let's listen to Hua Chen Yu. Okay, here we go, pressing play. Okay, <laughs> he is so funny with his, like the way that he dances and the way he really gets into his own music. I mean, it's it's pretty amazing when somebody can compose and they also can be such a great performer. A lot of composers don't like to be in the spotlight and uh, he definitely <laughs> does not fall into that category. He loves it and he loves performing his own music. And you can really tell, you can really tell that he believes in his music and that he's very proud of showing it to people. So that's kind of what he was talking about in the introduction. I skipped over that, but he was just saying that he hoped that people can appreciate this new generation of music and really start to understand it. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> Okay, so I want you guys to notice one thing and how that's how open his mouth is. Now, his tongue is not as relaxed as it could be, but I also know that in um, Chinese, there's a lot of vowels that you really actually need to push your tongue down, which is one of the reasons why I feel like it must be so, 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 so difficult to sing in Chinese unless you grew up doing it because a lot of those vowel sounds that you have to put your tongue way back for it's closing off the space in the back of your throat. So I'm not sure if that's the case in, you know, the word that he was singing because I don't speak Chinese, but um, maybe that maybe that's the case. Otherwise, I'm sure that he could benefit from a little bit less tongue tension, a little bit more um, keeping his tongue flat. Um, but he's sounding great. He's finding space in other ways by really opening his mouth. And um, really, his voice is sounding very focused and clear.
Yeah, I love that um, everyone knows the song, right? All of his fans know the song, so they're all singing along. Just go, just go. That's what the translation is on that part. He's really communicating that effectively. And I also want you guys to notice that when there are little interludes in the song, he's still very in the game. That's so important that when you have an interlude, you're not just standing there waiting for the song to come back in and that you're really maintaining the character of the song, you know, whether the character is you or somebody else, you're really maintaining that and you're not just waiting for it to come back in. But you're really able to maintain that character and then start singing it again. strong ending from him he nailed that song I thought that his you know stage presence was ama amazing he sounded really really great um, the focus of his voice was there the entire time we were really able to clearly hear him even in the parts that went a little bit more into that rock genre um, that he's very well known for that we could still hear his voice coming out and that he didn't um, sound like he was yelling or shouting but really that he was singing in a rock genre which is so important I think a lot of people who try to sing in rock just add so much gravel to their sound that we can't even hear their voice right and that's not what the purpose of rock is the purpose of rock is that everything is coming together especially the band and the voice to create this genre and not that you have to like totally kill your voice by making it so gravelly and raspy that we can't even really hear your sound in my opinion and i think that um he does just such a great job at that so good job for him i can't wait to see how he does in this season of the singer um i heard that he got first from this performance so far but I'm not quite sure how this competition works honestly I have to do more research about that <laughs> so okay guys thanks for joining me today I hope you liked this reaction video let me know who your favorite contestant is this year on the singer in the comments below don't forget to hit me with a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time